Hi guys, how are you all? Good evening everyone. I hope it's working. Yeah, can you see us properly? Can you hear us properly? Just say yes and no in the chat box. Can you hear and see us properly, guys? It has been a long time coming live together, right, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes, good evening, everyone. I'm not able to see anybody writing anything. So I, I guess they will come online because it'll take some time for our session. Okay, now our session. you are live. Now you're live. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good evening, Aryan. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I guess every, everyone is live now and, and it's working okay, out. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Perfect, perfect. Hello, Sonu. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> Already <laughs> suggestions are coming in. Make uh, yes, we will, we will make, um, but I, I don't think we'll be making on self. It will be making mainly on IELTS and uh, probably on German later. And English, of course. Right? Uh, right. So guys, a uh, quick, quick question. How are you all doing? Just just want to get an update from your life. How is everyone? Is there anybody who is here uh, from our old sessions? Very good evening. That's a nice way to show the name. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, we are doing great, guys. And we hope you are doing great as well. Like Ash asked, how are you guys doing? You can tell us um, how is your health and how is your preparation going? And perfectly fine. Okay, so all the tips that you guys have here about uh, the videos that we should make in the future, mm -hmm. uh, about writing skills, listening, part four tips. Uh, Amir, uh, that is something related to IELTS exam. So mm -hmm. we'll be taking care of that separately. This session is going to be for just English. Okay. Right, exactly. So yeah. this is not for IELTS. I would say this is for English. This is and, for English. Uh, you will be getting um, grammar, vocabulary, and some nice exercises, I would say activities in these live sessions. Uh, and from now, live sessions will be every day, I guess, Ash? Yes. We'll every. be continuing to have these live sessions for uh, more than a week. Yes. And in, in, in case you want us to cover any particular topic, mm -hmm. you can write us an email and we'll be happy to uh, create either a video or we'll try to cover them in the session. Right, right, right. We can we can talk about what communication skill or either grammar skill, what you need, guys. We can cover that. Now, uh, today we're going to start with an activity. Um, according to this activity, we'll be showing you a question and you have to answer that question. So this activity right? is to check your knowledge and uh, mm -hmm. in a way we can say to know new words of English. Uh, vocabulary, yes, it's it's right. a bit about vocabulary. So we have a couple of questions for you with their answers, and we'll also try to create a sentence out of mm -hmm. it. Right. Okay. Exactly. We'll start with the first one. Uh, Ash can show you the first one, the first question. Please yes. try to answer these questions. Yeah. I'm not sure how many of you remember this. We used to we do have these this activities activity now. a lot of and Yes, time. PDF will be available to you guys. Yes. A person who does not does not believe in God. Believe in God. What is the name of... Can you show it again? Yes, sure. A person who does not believe in God. Yes, it's one word substitution. One word, atheist. There you go. Very good. Okay. No one said atheist and that's the correct answer. Gnostic, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about English here, guys. Right, right. Funny videos, that's the correct answer. And you are funny in a way. <laughs> it is Gnostic. Okay. So what's I'm... the correct pronunciation of this word, Sam? So I think it's atheist. It's atheist. It's right. not atheist. It's atheist. Atheist. And um, yeah, that's the correct spelling as well. Atheist. Guys, and all these atheist. words will be provided to you in a form of a document, a right. PDF. Right. Uh, you guys can write us an email on our email address, learnwithsamanash dot uh, at the gmail at gmail dot com. Right. And we'll be forwarding these PDFs with you guys. Yes. So, so if you want all these details, like I said, PDF now. Forget about PDFs for now. For now, focus on the activity. Next word, Ash. Please. You can show. Okay. Now we have two children born at same time. What is the name given to those children born those at the same time? Born at the same time. Okay, we have got nice. some answers. Shivani got the correct answer in a second, I would say. We have ways to way to physics, twins. Very nice. That's the correct answer. Very There's nice. a word contempo. I'm not sure <laughs> if it's fitting here, but twins is contemporary is answer. not the answer. The answer is twins. Right. Twins. Okay. 
So right. guys, uh, all the questions that you have, please leave them behind for some time. Whatever time we have, let's let's learn something. Okay, something out of context. If two kids are born, it's called twins. What about three kids? What That's if, a good one. What if three kids are born at the same time? What is the name given to three kids born at the same time? There you go. Shivani said triplets, threens. No, it's threens. not threens. <laughs> it's triplets. It's, it's triplets. Exactly. The answer is triplets. Very nice. Very okay. nice. Okay. Nice. Next question. Mm -hmm. This one could be hard. I want you guys to try a disease or an accident mm -hmm. which ends in death. What disease is the word? Or accident that ends, ends in, in death. death. Okay. I know the answer, Ash. <laughs> of course. <laughs> A disease which ends in death. Or an accident. Or an accident. I mean, let's say you... What is that accident or disease called? In a way? Yes. There's a name given to that. Exactly. There we go. Uh, I think that is Navjit Kaur. Ola. Ola. Okay. That's that's my bro, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. COVID, cancer. No, you don't have to name the diseases. You There's have a to... property of the disease and that property is called fatal. Fatal death. Exactly. Dio Gamer is also correct. Puja is also correct. Every one of you. It's not uh, heart attack. It's fatal diseases. Uh, Rohit is also correct. It's fatal. Any disease because of which you die is called fatal. Fatal, fatal okay. disease. Okay. This is called now, fatal. Let's, we we kind of forgot one thing, Sam. We wanted to create sentences as well. Right, right. That's right, the way right, to learn right. these. I like one thing. I mean, the, the real responses nowadays, COVID. Exactly, Pavitra. I almost died from COVID as well. So, <laughs> um, this reminds me of our past. I mean, the way we used to conduct classes. But this time, we have people answering the questions. Somebody saying death. <laughs> but, but I like the way they're answering very quickly, I guess. Yes. That, that's really nice. So, let's do one thing, guys. Mm -hmm. Can you guys try to create a sentence with right. fatal? Right. So create yeah. a sentence from fatal. I mean, let's then try we to can, use this word. Then here. we can create a sentence here in the chat. Then, yeah. Yes. You guys can write. Everyone try, try to write a sentence with the word fatal. Sam, you also think of one. I know one. Okay. Write down a sentence. Mm -hmm. It was a Heart fatal, is a fatal disease. Yes, it is a fatal. We can disease. say that exactly is a fatal disease. Say so if there's up. something wrong in that sentence, it was a fatal event. Or it yeah. was the fatal it event. It was a fatal funny. accident, I would say. I suspect yeah. they've been Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. My uh, friend has died due to fatal disease. That's correct. Right. In my neighbors, an uncle had a fatal accident. Mm -hmm. Uncle met with a fatal accident. Would right, be much better. right, right. Um, it, was a f it was a fatal to explore <laughs> It was fate. That's a different word. Was, a, F A D E and F A T A L are two different things. Don't worry, um, monkey what is the meaning of fatal. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of fatal? Fatal means something that leads to death. That's what we call fatal. I mean, right? it's very tough to recover from that disease. That's it's called fatal, fatal disease. Right? That leads to death. Uh, by the way, I see there are 138 people and still 99 likes. Let's make it 100 at least. Right? <laughs> Pollution can lead to many health-related diseases, which can be fatal, which very may nice. be fatal. Shivani, nice very sentence. nice sentence. Shivani sentences, pollution can lead to many disease, health-related diseases, which may be fatal. Someone Amazing. of my relative died because of a fatal disease. Someone of my relative. Some you of can my. Be, yeah, some of my relatives. Uh, yes. Some of my relatives. Someone who is my relative. Can also, be can also <laughs> Somebody be sending in a hand sanitizer. Uh, he, uh, Tio Gamer said he met with a fatal accident yesterday. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, next, next one. Did that's you not... really? Okay, next one. <laughs> okay, next one, guys. Right, Murder is one. a fatal offense. No, that's <laughs> that's not the correct usage, guys. <laughs> what is someone who can't see called? What is someone who can't see called? I, I Sorry, guys, I'll interrupt here. There's mm -hmm. somebody saying you can say sudden death. It's not true. Sudden. It's not sudden death. Mm -hmm. You go into that disease, you you experience that, and then uh, even after years and years, you are not able to recover yourself. That's what we call fatal. Mm -hmm. It's not sudden. Okay. Right. Uh, even if it is sudden, it's still called fatal, but that's not the word here. Yes. That's you cannot word. say sudden uh, death. The blind is correct answer. Somebody said Andha. <laughs> Andha? Cricket Dunya said Andha. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a nice. And Guys, I'm focus the... on English, please. Uh, hi, Taranam. Hi, Long Taranam. time no see, I guess. We we have met earlier, I believe. 
So yes, the correct answer is blind. And um, I don't think we need more sentences from that. Let's go for the next one. Yes. What about this one? People, people that... Who, or people who... People who plant people, food... Forget about that. Or raise crop. What do you call those people? People who plant... Okay, we have got answers already. Very nice. Hi Rohit. This, this is, is the first, first session. Class. I, I hope it, it goes wonderfully good and as well as uh, pr uh, productive. Farmer, Peasants, farmer, no. Farmer. Peasants are not connected to farming. Peasants are just connected to working. And that was long. Uh, that was a sad word and that was long, uh, long ago used. Now, um, the, the farmers are connected to agriculture. So we have farmers. Right. Right, one more, and then we're gonna talk about something really uh, important. Motivation, SK motivation speaker. In this, in this batch, we're gonna have a lot of English conversations, mm -hmm. but we are. Uh, can I declare that? Sure. Okay, we are starting our Hindi channel where we'll be teaching English with the help of Hindi. Mm -hmm. So, how many of you will be interested to subscribe that channel? <laughs> Just I have one fifty nine students. Let me see how many will say yes. Peasants actually are used for people who are working in the farm. That's it. They are, they are not connected to raising food or, you know, doing everything. They are some part of that or the, of that process, not the complete process. Sam, come on. Yes. Talk okay. students. Yes, let me just answer that question. Now we have, uh, yeah, so many people I would love to. I'm interested only in English, ma'am. Not interested. English is better. <laughs> well, so we'll better. have both. We have a channel right. for English. We have a channel for Hindi. Mm -hmm. It's your choice which one you want to subscribe Right, okay, right, right. can we jump to the next question? Exactly, we should. Yeah, I'll subscribe, but English is better. <laughs> That's the spirit. Thank you. Name of ground military force. What is the name given to the ground military, military forces? Force. Exactly. Tell me how can I learn to write an essay with us and a precise... Comments is turning fatal for my efforts. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's Army. a good one. That's the correct answer for this one. Not armed forces, just army. Army is the correct answer in that case. And all of you are right about that. Yes. Basement is different. Basement, Basement is, is there where you are, where you try to save yourself from attack. Army. Army, that's right. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. okay. Uh, one more and then I would I would like to talk about something really important, guys. And here is one more word. Would you like to read? What is the name given when two or more people are participating or are communicating with each other? Right. Two or more people are speaking to each other. Okay. There are a few answers coming up. Mm -hmm. We have debate, conversation, chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Group discussion. Group discussion should be... Uh, it can be fine, but generally that is given a topic. When they are speaking to each other, then generally it is conversation. Okay, debate can also be correct. In I fact, chat can, can be correct. Lord, here one second. I'll have to like show them. Okay, so the answer is conversation. I would say the answer is conversation, as you can see here. And yes, debate can also be correct. Chat can also be correct. No, no, chat is a little bit. Uh, in formal term, formally it's called conversation. Yes, it's like uh, two people speaking to each other. In debates, right. it's more than that. Interpersonal communication. Right? Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a... I wish you can use that word in any of your conversations. <laughs> okay, gossiping is a different thing altogether. Yeah, gossiping. gossiping is a completely different thing. Okay, you want to you wanna say something, right? Okay, I want to talk about something, guys. Um, so... We are in the process of creating one of the best um, material for you guys, and that is uh, related to English. And that material will be ready probably in some time. Um, so some of you have bought our English course earlier. So please wait for at least a week or two. We'll be declaring an amazing course for you guys. Like that has a lot of data, maybe for one year. Yes. All right. So we'll be preparing data that will be that will not be enough for even for one year. There will be more than for one year, I would say. Um, so just wait for that, guys. Right? Uh, gossiping mean when two women talk mm -hmm. to each other for long. <laughs> guys do gossip, guys. Come on. Everyone more. People gossip, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Next one then. We have next one now. No. Number of Go people on. living in specific area. What is that word where you can say uh, a word that can describe number of people living in an area? In specific area. Yes. So you have number of people living in specific area. 
community, neighborhood. What is that exact word which you learn back in school? This area, so many people live. Chopal, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just looking for that one word. That word starts from P, by the way. So I can give an example. Um, in There you go. Theo Gamer gave the correct answer. The first person. Are you population. guys literally Googling? <laughs> Googling is it a word? Googling is a word, yes. Okay. Population is the correct answer in this case. The correct answer is population. Right? Answer is, question was, number of people living in specific area. In their residents will also work. Population will work. I think most of your answers are correct. Society Colonies can, can work. work Colonies can society work. can work. Based on what description are we talking about, we can change right. the word. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, Swastika has a question. Uh, please make us, not a question, the request. Please make us speak in English fluently. See, um, Swastika, the, the biggest challenge that we get while speaking in English is we don't have a partner to speak. And Ash, how are you planning to solve this problem? Okay. You're putting me in the spot right now. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, guys, as I uh, already, as Sam has already mentioned, mm -hmm. we are coming up with this huge course mm -hmm. for 365 days. Right. Literally 365 days where you're going to have material for 365 days, where you're going to have live sessions for 365 days, where we can interact with each other. You can ask your doubts with to me. You can, you know, interact with other students. And apart from that, we are creating a platform where you can find partners. speaking partners according to your level. Right. If you think you are somebody who is at basic level, mm -hmm. can actually find a partner from basic itself and you guys can grow together. Mm -hmm. And on the way, if you have any doubts and questions, then you are connected with me for 365 days. Very nice. Yes, okay? we are doing that. Okay, uh, one more question from my side, guys. What is the best time for you to come live? I mean, when are you guys generally free? I mean, of course, you're free. That's why I'm live class. But I would suggest, is it, is it afternoon fine or is evening good? That will be on YouTube. Yes, Rastika. That will be on YouTube available. You will be getting information about that. 6 p.m. is good. 9 p.m. is good. Evening is good. Morning, afternoon. <laughs> that's that's so, a wrong question. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess 9 p.m. is the perfect time. Somebody is saying. I am, I'm getting a lot of comments about my mom. Professional teaching in Cambridge board. Trust me, your section of good. Someone who is struggling to start in this. That's, thank, thank you, you so much, Pooja. Thank you, Pooja. Nairu. So I think we'll keep it evening, 6 o'clock. Yes. That's much better. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. After 9 is better. Of course, it's better. But we have other sessions going on after 9. So it'll be difficult for us to, you know, be live at that time. Right? So we'll be going with 6 o'clock. Mohamed right? Ibrahim, we just mentioned that we'll be helping you with that communication skills part and exactly. writing skills in our sessions. Right. It's it's tough to teach these things here because you can't practice with us while speaking. Right. In, in our live sessions, in our other live sessions, we'll be have, able to, you know, communicate using providing material and all. Right. Let's okay. have a next, next one. Next question. Property, which is... Property which is which a new wife brings to her husband. What is the word given when a wife brings something at the time of wedding for the husband or maybe for the family? Okay. Exactly, exactly. The, the word. How which, does it pronounce pronounce this word? I think dowry. Yes. <laughs> no, I used to call it dowry. Dowry. <laughs> it's, it's not a gift. It's exactly the, the word dahej, but okay. uh, it's it's not a good word, and we should always be against it. Definitely. It's called uh, dowry. The, the the right word is dowry, and you all of you are right about it. D O W R Y. Let's try something interesting here. Is it interesting? I like this word. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I find it difficult too. The process of teaching and learning. Call. What is the process of teaching and learning call? <laughs> a picture. I like that comment. <laughs> I have to bring my wife. Okay, I also have to bring from upcoming wife. Okay. I, I misunderstood. It. Okay. So okay. we have process of learning. Exactly. It's called education. That's right. All of you are right. So process of teaching and learning is called education. Education is a field where you learn and also where you teach. Because someone Correct. is learning, someone, someone is teaching. teaching. So we are teaching or we are trying to teach and you guys are trying to learn, I hope. So answer is education. Educational will become, um, I would say, an adjective. The subject is educational. Right. That will become an adjective. So when you say the subject is educational, that means something that you can teach. Right? Okay. 
All right, next question. Next question. Let's go. Uh, Let's go ahead. Person in charge of library. What is the name given to the person who is in charge of library? So, no, no, I'm using my sister's ID Apexia. I mean, her brother. Okay. <laughs> The Dabi thing. We have got the answer. Okay, librarian. Oh my God. All of a sudden. <laughs> All of a sudden. Librarian is the correct answer. All of you are correct about that. Next one, I would say, is a little bit difficult. Not way too difficult. It's a little bit difficult. So, guys, if you really need um, the PDF. a PDF with these so, words, so questions, and a sentence, mm -hmm. you just have to write down... Uh, hi, Sam and Ash. I attended your live sessions. Please share the PDF. I really want to see these exact lines. <laughs> Please send us these exact lines. Right. So we'll be providing you um, our email address. I think you already have it, but still, I'm going to provide you my email Hopefully address. Hopefully, send multiple lines. No, I can print it. It's okay. So here yes. we go, and you can actually see on the top, it will be always on the uh, it's out so print already. You can say, Samanash, I attended your live session. Please share the PDF. All right. Okay. Apart from that, if you are interested about the one year course, a very minimal price, please also write us email that I'm interested for one year course. Trust me, it's one year. You'll be able to, you know, study English with us for one year. I mean, this is really the best we can do, honestly. <laughs> this is like everything we are putting inside it. Right. So we are working for almost six months now in this course, and we are trying to make it the best course ever on internet. Okay, let's, let's go, go to next. the next one. A person who enjoys company of other. A person who enjoys company of others. Right. Exactly. Or there is another word if I if I um, say that. How much fee? Um, I cannot declare the fee, but it is definitely less than uh, four thousand. Less than four thousand for one year. We'll we'll talk about that after a week, guys. Yeah. Okay, you guys already got the answer. Extrovert, very nice. I guess. I, could have. <laughs> I was like, okay, the person who talks a lot is an extrovert, but mm. it's, person it's who about enjoys company. companies of company of other is not an employee. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extrovert. Extrovert and introvert are two type of people. The two types, an extrovert is a person who likes others' company, who likes to socialize exactly uh, currently, and a person who doesn't like others' company is called introvert. Let's show the okay, let's go with the next one. Crime of stealing from a shop. Crime of stealing from a shop. There's a word given to that crime. Bookkeeper, no. Weight what of about MB word? Uh, Pathil, uh, MB word is person who likes both, who can enjoy others' company and still stay calm. Amit but Kalyan, we, that's, a nice, that's a good answer. We, we just have one answer correct, I think, so yes. far. Uh, Amit, Kalyan. Amit Kalyan. Amit gave the right answer and that is shock. Now we have another one. Way, way to physics should be way to English now. <laughs> <laughs> because that is the career you're giving correct answer. So when you uh, right. steal something from a shop, it's mm -hmm. called a shoplifting. Shoplifting, But yes. when you do robbery and stuff, burglary and everything, you know, that's you use different. use a gun and you know when on, on by force like, you take anything, shh. that's called shoplifting. No, that's murder. That, right? That's called robbery. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you rob things. Yes. In daylight. But stealing from the shop, maybe a tiny Plus hiding, thing. you know, small things and hiding in a bag is called yeah. shoplifting. So let's let's create a sentence on shoplifting. Right. I can I can try. Uh try a sentence with shoplifting. <laughs> Amit Kalyan is uh, I think is he is your neighbor, uh, Apeksha is saying, because he's giving all the answers. Right? So. <laughs> yeah, he takes tuitions with us. <laughs> okay. Online course details, please. Um, so you, you do one thing, guys. You write us email. Um, so you write us email and you will be able to get all the information regarding the course and when we are launching and how much will be the fees and everything. So please write us an email. We will provide you the fees. Mm. Only for people who are coming live, we will have some discount. Right. He was charged with shoplifting. Good sentence. Right. Um, another, another statement would be, um, I caught him shop shoplifting. My wife take tuitions from you. Ah, that's amazing. I mean. What's what's the name? <laughs> what's the name? Well, it's got a poor boy for shoplifting bread from the bakery. Very nice. Amazing. That's Rather. the best answer that's you really can good. give for this Nowadays, one. shoplifting is increasing and people are uh, fed, fed up, up of it. it. Good one. Good try. So, uh, it should be fed, not feed. 
but that's a good try. Amar is a shoplifter in my class. <laughs> <laughs> Ramesh is is trying shoplifting sometimes. Some is item. trying. Is trying. That that's good. Someone Meenakshi. 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 Uh, I think it's she's in your batch. Ah, okay. She might be in my batch. Yes. Right. Okay. Let's go for the next one now. And we have the shoplifter. The shopkeeper was busy with other customer, and the clever buyer Buy shoplifted. Shoplifted and e easily. easily. Shoplifted. Easily. Was able to shoplift easily. He is caught shoplifting at the electric shop. That's correct, Shwat. Uh, I think um, Swastika. Next statement mm -hmm. is um, here. Equipment to know the direction while you're traveling. So, what is that equipment called to know the direction? What is that equipment called to know the direction? I was used to shoplifting chocolate in my childhood days. That's a good one. Oh my God, they don't even think. They have an answer. <laughs> that's amazing. That's okay. amazing. GPS, that's the new term. But <laughs> earlier we used to have compass. Yes. Uh, by the way, GPS is not, I would say, an equipment. It's, it is actually in a way. It, it's a system, I would say. Global positioning system. But this is correct now. Hi, yes, Mishu, Google Map is also correct. Mishu is Man. one of your students. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mishu. Uh, there you go. Answer is compass. Compass uh, can be of any type. Google map nowadays can be used as well. Any map can be used for that purpose. Ash, go ahead. Okay. Violent conflict mm -hmm. between two or more countries. Violent conflict between two or more countries. Yes, there you go. Shivani is waiting for next sentence, right? <laughs> so the fun part about these questions, it's it's more over like, uh, uh, what do you call it? When you ask questions in limited time frame and like back to back. Rapid, rapid fire. fire. Rapid fire. Uh, this activity is more or like a rapid fire. Exactly. And in the best, Russia and Ukraine like the sad um, reality now, nowadays. But the most important part is you might be thinking of one word as war. But right now you're, you're understanding words such as violent, conflict, all these words you're understanding. That's how you learn English, right? That's why that's how you engross yourself in English. And that's how you learn. I'm watching from Dubai. Uh, ILS on 25th June. Um, <laughs> CMNS, we have a lot of free videos. If you're preparing Your manager files, is watching you. you. <laughs> Definitely watching, watching you. <laughs> Warfare. Or maybe the manager is also in the session. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead. Battle is the different thing altogether. Official information on a piece of paper. What is the name given to that paper mm -hmm. which is official and it has a lot of information? Mm -hmm. Official information on a <laughs> piece of paper. I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are the manager. Right, right. Okay, guys, come on, try this one. Mm -hmm. Notice confidential. Mm -hmm. Ashutosh has got the answer. Very nice. That's the correct. Agreement can also work. Notice can also work. Again, all of these are documents, you know, uh, yes. orders. Document can also work as an answer. I would say notice, order, agreement. These are documents, documents. at the end of the day. Catalog is also Catalog. a document. Right, right. All of you are right about that. Order Stamp paper. Circular. circular. Very nice word. Very nice word. Something which, which is Now, I have another activity right now yeah. in our arsenal. And according to this activity, Ash and I will be talking. And please listen to this activity. Very important. And for uh, you know, for you to get the correct answer, we'll be discussing something and we'll be making mistake on purpose. Is it? Yes. We can. I'm start. not sure when I make mistakes. <laughs> okay, we'll be making mistake on purpose, so, and you have to write about the mistake if you are making mistake. So we'll this just way, have one sentence at a time. No, we'll be talking. So we'll be con you know when we will have the conversation very slow. So when we are having lots of love from Pakistan, but lots of love from, love from India. So when we are, when we are discussing anything, when we make the mistake, you write that mistake. For example, Ash, um, there is so many fruits on the table. Do you see them? How much? How much? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> we we have we will have two to three sentences exactly like this. You got it. You got it. Right. So let's start the conversation. We'll make it on purpose slow. Good. So, Ash, how was your um, dinner? How many? Okay, somebody has got that as well. Very nice. So, how was your dinner in the afternoon, Ash? <laughs> how was the dinner in the afternoon? Okay, right. good one. <laughs> uh, I think I I I enjoyed the dinner, uh -huh. and it is very tasty. Right. It, it is very tasty. Very good. So you, it is. 
right okay um i think it's 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 okay if we do this later because it's no this this is fun this is fun we have to we have, we have to create our sentences it is very delicious no it was because it's so was. exactly but right, right dinner is in the evening mm-hmm. time and yes. uh, how and is, i also said i enjoy the dinner it should be i enjoyed the right. dinner so next statement is about the class how is going the class okay uh, the class is going really fine right now mm-hmm. and i was enjoying it mm-hmm. now you okay you were yes. enjoying it now yes <laughs> okay how is the class going that's Very nice that's the correct yes, statement i was enjoying should be i am enjoying i am enjoying that's right that is right. you guys are smart you okay, guys are picking it up way quickly okay well, next one uh we have so many uh, people in live class and still uh we have um little like <laughs> sorry <laughs> we have little like so what is the difference what is what is the incorrect answer okay can you repeat the sentence okay. again we have so many people in the live class and we have little like we have little like we have fewer likes fewer likes very nice. less is also we have less correct? likes is correct yes. okay we have less number of likes you are making it obvious yes you're right i'm not <laughs> able to stop laughing because of that and this is just for fun don't worry guys let's go back to our word we have not enough we don't have enough we don't have enough good one good very one less likes people okay people people <laughs> okay that's funny one okay let's go for the next and one this this is a question which is going on for a long time let uh-huh. me answer that are you guys married or not yes yes we are uh-huh. it's been how many years i don't know like 5 6 years oh my god Just no <laughs> it'll be 2 years in december yes so we are married for like 2 years now yes one and a half year i guess kind of <clears throat> right let's go to the next one an apartment below ground level an apartment below ground level The funny thing is, I I made this sentence about likes. We just ask you guys to like, and you did. They are one seventy two now instead of one four one sixty. Okay. The answer, answer we have right? basement. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the correct answer. Basement. That's the correct answer. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Yes. Right. So let's go for the next one, Nair. You know, I really have a tough one. Do you want me really? to try that? Okay. Okay. Go let's go with the sequence. Yeah. Let's go with the sequence. Person who makes who make cakes and bread. There's a grammatical error in this sentence. Please forgive me for that. Person who, who makes, makes not that makes bread and cakes. Baker. Hi, Parthil. That's a good answer. The first one. Exactly. There we go. The correct answer is baker. And the right. shop mm-hmm. where he does it is called as bakery. Bakery, right? That's. Uh, Milkri, can you help? Pull. Mukuri, we are conducting these live sessions for you guys, so I think this is. There is no charge for this. Yes. If you have anything to donate, guys, for these live sessions, you know, uh, our um, our number, you can donate over there. But it's okay. There we go. Next one. I, I forgot. A country <laughs> ruled by two countries. Okay, that was the tough one. Even I don't know this word. <laughs> so the... a, a country ruled by two countries. Yes. What is right. the term when you say that a country is ruled by two other countries? Okay. You will pass the. Pass. Empire, Empire. Baker. No, we will we'll pass. This, this is one. tough. Even Sam was asking to pass on. Okay. So the answer, no, no. This is the answer. This is the answer. I think the word is um, condominium. Condominium, yes. Condominium is not USA. USA <laughs> is not ruled by other countries. Uh, condominium is the word. This for is that. just to you know give a new word into your dictionary. That's all. Right. Others were easy. This one is. This is a word used for country which is ruled by two other countries. Country. So let's say uh, India is ruled by US and England at the same time. If it is. If it is. If it is. It is not. But if it is, then it is called uh, condominium. Okay, what is the word given to death, or that that word which is related to death? Or people who are subjected to death are called something. People or animals who can die are called something. Exactly, Parthal. That's the correct sentence. 
Yes. People who are subjected to death. <laughs> Expired. No, no, no. Rest in peace. No, no, no. no. It's about... Um, right. That's the correct answer. Mortal. So, mortal are the people or animals who can die. So, that means... It, 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 you know, it's for every living person and human and every... They call it mortal. Mortal, mortal because they can die. Immortal are the people. Kick the bucket. <laughs> yes, that's, that's a that's good a one. Phrase. That's a phrase. So, immortals are the people or anything that doesn't die. But mortal is the correct word for that. Right. Okay. Good. Next one. I think... An assembly... More than the word. We have tough words in this one. <laughs> an assembly of listeners. An assembly of listeners. So, when you go on a stage and you give a speech, let's say, mm -hmm. who is sitting in front of you? What is mm -hmm. the word given to people who sit in front of you and listen to you? Mm -hmm. People who sit. Jisna. Got the answer? That's the correct answer. Audience. Audience, Audience so, is the... Yes. Uh, Spectators is about people who look at you. Who Spectators watch. are uh, in a big, uh, let's say, in an event generally. And then moreover about looking as mm -hmm. well. Audience is specifically for listening. Listening and looking both. So audience. So even let's say right now we are not able to look at you, but still you are our audience. Right. Yeah. Right. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good answer one. is audience. There we go. Okay. Right. Go for the next one, Ash. And we have the next one as who doesn't like, like to, to talk, talk much? much? A person who, who doesn't does... like to talk much. We can say radio show also have an audience. That's right. That's right. But they don't have a spectators. Who doesn't like to talk much? There we go. The, the opposite of extrovert is introvert. There we go. Introvert, introvert is the right answer, guys. Introvert is the right answer. There you go. Now we have a sad face. Which why? Okay. <laughs> because of introvert. <laughs> I think somebody. Okay, this one introvert. is tough. Sam, I want to test you without mm -hmm. even looking at the answer. I already know the answer. Okay. Okay. No, extreme it. fear from strangers. So this, some introverts have this. So extreme fear from strangers. So they're scared of strangers. What is that fear called? I think that's what you're asking. You can search, you can Google it. Extreme something phobia. Exactly. Somebody smart. Something phobia. Yes. Yes. Terrified. Stranger phobia. phobia. Mishugil is in my class, I know. I know yeah, yes. she just said that. I am sorry, I didn't notice that. <laughs> okay. Stranger phobia, okay, stranger phobia. No. It's xenophobia. Xenophobia. It's xenophobia. Remember, guys, from next time, if a person who is scared to talk to strangers has, uh, but that particular person has xenophobia. Hesitation is also one, uh, one way to Hesitation say Hesitation is not the word given to the For the fear. phobia, for the yes. fear. Right? Alien phobia. Okay. Alien phobia. <laughs> Middle of something is called as middle of something is called. Let's say I have a room circle. I have a, a middle oh. of that middle of that circle yes. is called something. Center. There Green you go. medical. Okay, that's the correct answer. Midpoint. Yes. Midpoint. midpoint okay. Center. Midpoint. Anything is fine. Median is different. Uh, just now, median is mathematical term for. Somebody saying. Interpreter. <laughs> that's that's not the person you're talking about. No, that's not talking about person. We're talking about mathematical uh, notation. Median is completely different. Median is not center. Middle point could be good. This is the last one. Last one we have. How many years are in a decade? So instead of this, I mean, from the answer, you know the word decade now. How many years are in a decade? Ten years. Very nice. Jyoti, not good 100. one. 100 years is a century, I believe. It's a century, yes. What about 1,000 years? What is it called? When, what if we have 1,000 years? What is it called? Do you know? Yes. Okay, that's why you're asking it. Century. People must be knowing. What about 1,000 years? There you go. Millennium. millennium. Oh, it millennium. happened in a millennium. Yes. Nice. Exactly, nice. exactly. Now, have you guys heard of one more uh, time-related term? I'll be back in a jiffy. Yes, we have. What is the meaning of a decade? Decade is 10 years. Collection of 10 years is decade. So instead of saying I waited for you for 10 years, you can say I waited for you for a decade. Decade. And what about a jiffy? A moment. A moment? Somebody is giving okay. an answer. So this is your homework, guys. Jiffy, jiffy is um, actually a physics related term. But in English, it's used for being very quick. 
right? Being very quick is Jiffy is like in spelling, a few seconds. Spelling? J-I-F-F-Y, Jiffy. J-I-F-F-Y. Jiffy. I'll be back in a Jiffy. That's very quick. But in physics, it has a deep meaning. Uh, okay. So, Dave, yes, these are live sessions for, for a couple this of days now. It yes. will be regular. Yeah. yeah. For 15 days, maybe probably we'll be having regular sessions or maybe 10 to 15 days, something like that. Yes. We'll try to complete Saran Path. Jiffy, exactly. That's the correct word, Mishu. Thanks can... a lot. It was a nice session. Um, by the way, guys, uh, do one thing. Please write an email if you need any help. You need PDF for these words and the sentences. Let it continue. <laughs> it will continue tomorrow. We'll have more activities. Today was the first activity. Tomorrow we'll practice more. Uh, tomorrow timing will be same. Do not forget to write email if you want the PDF for these likes. Thank uh, you. These words. Thank you so much. Let's make it 200. Ask your friends to like as well. And if you need to know about the course, you can also write us email. We will definitely let you know right, about everything what we're going to provide in the course. Thank you, everyone. That's very nice. I, th I think one of the best class after a long time. Everyone um, was really uh, paying attention. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Good night. Have a nice evening. Enjoy yourself, guys. If you are in India, if you are in any other country, enjoy uh, your time. Timing is 6 o'clock every day. 6 o'clock every day. Yes. 6 to probably 7. And minutes. also make sure that your friends join the session too. Yes. Email address is provided on the top, as you can see. Um, on the top, it's pinned on the top. Please have a look. Uh, learn with Samanesh at the real gmail.com is the email address. Yeah. All right then. Bye email bye. is not working. How is it not working? It must be working. Learn with Sam and Ash. Guys, it's it's a correct email. It's a correct email. You have to write email. You will get email from our from us reply. Okay. Thank you for likes as well. 208 likes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, six o'clock from India time. Uh, latest live time. Yeah. Bye bye. Please don't go. This is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> we will come tomorrow, Jane, for 100%. Yeah. Bye-bye.